Welcome back everybody. Before I show you what went wrong last time uh, with the Windows uh, setup and things like that, I'll just show you what is the current speed of hard drive powered laptop. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Now software wise you have standard windows application, you have uh, Norton antivirus suite um, with a firewall and you have, oh there we go, migration complete and you have a Microsoft Office, Word, Excel and PowerPoint so not too much, few files on the desktop, um, installation is about one month long so it's not too crowded, as you see it takes quite a while. There we go, scan your fingerprint, done. And still thinking. Now, I'll show you what I did wrong uh, in the first time. Uh, Windows key R or run, MS, C, O, N, F I G M S config enter and if you go to boot tab I had uh, ticked over there no GUI boot what that basically does is just disables um, Windows boot logo screen now I have noticed that um, what that does to this particular uh, software Intel data migration tool is you can see the progress what is happening you just have lots of gibberish on the top of the screen I thought the computer hung up a few times and I had to reset it although it appears to be that it wasn't displaying properly so make sure you do not have that um, ticked I know some SSD um, websites that recommend optimizing SSD uh, recommend to switch that off but please do not do that uh, while you're transferring data from a hard drive onto Intel SSD because it messes up the menus a bit. So that's a boot video and quick what not to do. Um, I'll come back to you guys as soon as I have um, Intel SSD installed into laptop instead of conventional hard drive. Thanks for watching.